Check out the view here at Long Pond. Oh, hey, how's it going, man? What's up? Good, dude. Good, good. You're almost there, bro. Oh, yeah. Almost. You uh, hiking with Pascara? Yes, I am, man. Hell yeah, man. Yeah, man. Uh, was it champion or something? Yeah, yeah, the champ. Oh, fuck, I see the belt now. Yeah, yeah. What is, uh, what's that for? Heavyweight? Surf's up, bro. This is the trail. It rained a lot last night. Champ got wet and he didn't like that. But he's still here. Still climbing. But yeah, <laughs> that's the trail. After a while of you know, dodging and all that, the water, comes a time where you just gotta say screw it. Oh, that's a little, that's a little too much screwing right there. Right there, right there. Woo! Cold water. Cold water. That's all right. Three and a half more miles. I will be at the Nature Human Hostel. Some guy that was on Naked and Afraid was on like four episodes or some something like that. Whatever. Whatever. <laughs> Meanwhile, back on the Appalachian Trail. I'm still hiking. A river runs through it. But there ain't no Brad Pitt in this. Just the champ. <laughs> What's that? Skip. Skip. What's up, everybody? Good dog. Need a bar? Out of all places, just a bar right there. You know, nothing major. It's, oh, I think this is a good place for a bar, you know. Good stuff. You guys think Bob Ross would have a hard time painting that one? Who in the hell has been playing Nerf guns? with some damn zombie strike bullets <laughs> that's yeah that's pretty wild yeah oh, right here yeah we uh we go pretty hard with the uh, zombie strike where i live <laughs> we have a little uh nerf wars me jay his dad jess jess's girl gabby oh yeah oh yeah dude we get down at least once a week oh nice yeah, we go pretty hard. We get, we go to war. That's for sure. Sweet. Uh, let's get him, buddy. Let's get him. Okay, you got that. You're good. What you got? That's all right. You show him. I got it. I got it. Yeah. 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 What's up, buddy? What's up, buddy? Okay. Meow. Meow. <laughs> what is going on? Um, right now I am at Ball Pay East, and behind me is Ball Pay West. That's where I'm headed right now. T today uh, I was hiking and I realized that it had been two years that uh, my dog Jaeger that I used to have passed away, and you know everything happens for a reason, and I like to think that. You know, the reason why Jaeger died was it was the first step to get me to where I am today. And for that, I'm very grateful. And uh, in memory, I want to uh, 
Howl for my dog. Miss you, little buddy. Mmm, <laughs> that's some good bog there, right there, boy. Mmm, that good bog right there. Look at that. <laughs> Holy, he followed that. You're screwed. Oh, man. Get some of that good bog right there, boy. Uh, uh. Don't want to fall in the bog monster. Whew. All right. So today, me and Classic Rock are on our way to Mahusik Notch, which is cool. We should. You know, uh, cool, but at the same time, we're a little interested in seeing the conditions. You know, it's getting colder. It rained a little bit a couple days ago, so there's ice and stuff. So, and it's supposed to rain today, um, later in the afternoon. So, yeah, we're trying to do big things. But uh, a couple days ago, we stayed at the Human Nature Hostel. That place is really great. It's ran by a great guy named uh, Yukon. Um, he was in Naked and Afraid a few episodes. And yeah, he was a really cool laid back guy. We stayed there. And one of the coolest things happened since I've been on the trail. Um, a couple days before that, we left Wrangley. Um, and buddy Mike Ford, Red B, hosted us. I think I mentioned that. Uh, if I did it, thank you for that, buddy. But um, as we were leaving Rangeley, found out my Aunt Mavis, Uncle Emery, and Aunt Shirley, they all came up out of, you know, just decided to plan a vacation and out of all places they picked Rangely and my Aunt Mavis she does follow me on Facebook but she wouldn't know I mean she knew, knew that I was in Maine but not that so I found that really cool and first night there at Human Nature Hostel uh, Classic Rock got there before me and then I found out that he told me that uh my Aunt Mavis has showed up because I told her I was staying there and that was really cool. Um, I guess they had went to Andover and came back and, you know, I didn't get to talk to them long, but 15, 20 minutes is all I needed. And it was really great that, you know, I was able to see my Aunt Mavis and Uncle Emery. Um, Aunt Mavis has always been around, a big part of my life. My mom had eight brothers and sisters you know there was nine kids out the group so you know uh, there was a lot of them and uncle emory he huh yeah i see that i see that uncle emory always lived on the other side of north carolina somewhere else a couple hours a few hours away even when i was a little child yeah i still saw him he's uncle emory cool as hell but it was really great, you know, to have Aunt Mavis and Uncle Emery, you know, present in this amazing moment in my life. This great chapter and in Maine, out of all places. So I thought that was cool. But, you know, just one of these things on the trail that, you know, just goes to show that, you know. Yeah, I lost where I was going with that, but whatever. Just one of those things the trail provides. That's it. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's the one the trail provides. <laughs>